yes. If Ainge starting Brendan again, I'll doubt him. Big up Ariel, you're right to do so. I won't because I understand it. While I don't agree with it, I can understand it, Ariel, because he in his first year said, boom, staple that name to my chest. That is my guy. I wanted him. So as an Ainge lover, as what I deem decently balanced in my takes, uh, again, that's me judging my own takes. So take it with a grain of salt. I am not a fucking, I'm not Jim Jones, David Koresh. I don't know it all. I'm not the fucking Costco guys. I'm not the realist guys. I'm just Jacob. But I can see why he's starting Brennan Johnson because he stapled that to his chest and I hold him accountable for Brennan Johnson's actions. Every success that Brennan Johnson has, every failure that Brennan Johnson has ultimately rests on the shoulders of Ainge Postacoglu, in my opinion. Now, be that as it may, y'all know how I feel about Brennan Johnson. That doesn't mean that I'm all of a sudden anti-Ainge. It's just something I disagree with. I disagreed with the fact that he brushed off the fact that we uh, were conceding a lot of set piece goals. He said, I don't think it's a problem. If it's a problem, I'll address it. If we play better, these things get cleaned up. And I said, how dare you? Like Greta Thunberg, how dare you? Because I was like, this is a problem, bro. We are conceding goals. But then since he said that last year, we haven't conceded a single set piece goal. So clearly, Ainge knows something that the fans don't. The vocal minority on the internet maybe don't know more than Ainge, even though they feel like they do. Which, hey, you can feel however you want. I would never tell you, you know more than either one of these individuals. Ange Postacoglu. Cristian Romero. So there you go. Um, <laughs> I don't believe LaCelso is a real person. I think he's an NPC or an android of some kind, and uh, he doesn't exist. We need a partnership with the Saudi club so that they can take our draws. That would be fantastic. Um... If I could see gradual improvement in Johnson, I'd put up, but he's had a lot of starts and I don't think I do. Ribsy, I agree. This is my main problem is I think, uh, what did Scott Nelson say? Real quick, I'll address that. Um, this has been my main shtick with him. I was critical of him in his first season, although trying to be patient. And I said, okay, I'll give him all summer next year, preseason, all preseason. Let's see how he progresses. Zero progression, stagnation of progress. Not good enough in my opinion. So there we go. Uh, Jacob, but you have to credit Jason Noss for one thing. He never makes nasty comments, even after your slightly aggressive outburst. Uh, no, not tonight anyway, but you know, when he's comfortable over there in his echo chambers, if I happen to make an appearance, he'll definitely make sure he says something. Yes. Vocal minority. That's what I said. Jason Noss, you know, the vocal minority, i.e. not the folks in the stadium who are 60,000 loud and proud singing. Oh, Ange pasta coglu. So. I take 60,000 people at the stadium as a majority and I take the six people on a stream yelling at each other over the, and they're all made, they're all saying the same things, just fluffing it up. They all have the same flowers. They're just arranging the bouquet differently. That's what I call an echo chamber. So that's what I also call the vocal minority of Tottenham Hotspur fans. Because if, if the six of them, plus let's say the 500, 600, 700, 800, 900 people watching them, great. If we're taking an overestimation of those folks, a thousand people saying, Ainge out, he's naive, Ainge is tactically unaware, Ainge is out of his depth, oh, Ainge, wah, wah. If you're one of those guys, it's okay. There are some of you. You're just the vocal minority. You're vocal and you're the minority. So I like the vocal majority, the ones that are singing Ainge Pasta Coglu at the ground. Obviously I can't be there. I'm fucking across the world right now. So it's really great for me when I get to see what do the folks who are there watching my club right now, what are they saying? They're all saying, oh, Ainge Pasta Coglu. So there it is. And see, this is, I just don't agree with you here driving away. Most of the people in the stadium aren't Spurs fans, just tourists visiting London for the day. Some are, sure. <laughs> see, just lies. You come in the chat and you lie. Who said the standards are low? 
We can't enjoy a 4 0 victory. Your standards are low. What did you win yesterday? You may have won 4 0, but did you win a trophy? Oh, his angel. Did he win a trophy? Bro, cry more. <laughs> this is Jason right now. Oh, Spurs fans happy with Spurs winning? <laughs> Ludicrous. Ludicrous that we would ever think something, right, Jason? With a Spurs logo in your fucking title. That's the most ironic part. Um, you got a Spurs title. Spurs in your thing. Look, I'm going to end the show. I, I derailed. I, 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 I fed into what I try to not feed into. And I apologize. Big up Jason Noss uh, coming in here and saying his truth. And I like that. You get out, you go out there, you say your truth. That's what it's about. I get up here and I say my truth as well. So respect. Respect to Jason Noss. And he's whoever said it was right earlier. He hasn't. I have an aggressive outburst. I do agree. Uh, because... It's not solely just Jason Noss. It is, again, that, that little minority that, you know, they just scratch it, you scratch it, you scratch it, you until you, they draw a little bit of blood. Now I got to smack the mosquito on my arm. So it was like that for me. And I apologize, Jason Noss, if I did say anything offensive. I don't mean it offensive. I mean nothing personal. And then I do mean this in all sincerity. I hope life blesses you and continues to bless you beyond your wildest imaginations. And that Tottenham do exactly what you're hoping, which is raise the standards, and win some fucking trophies. Because that's what I want. But you coming in here lying, I don't appreciate saying the standards are low. No, I'm just not going to cry about shit I can't change. The milk is spilt, and I'm not even in that house to clean it up. How the fuck am I supposed to cry about that? So that's where I'll end it there today, folks. I do appreciate all of tonight's sponsors, Phil P, Lee Smithy Smith, Saidansa, and TJ Warren TV. Uh, big up to y'all who've been a member for this long. I do appreciate it very, very much. And to those of you who liked and subscribed to the channel, I'm going to end the poll and let's test the vibes tonight. Um, let's see who the vocal minority are tonight. 135 votes. The vocal, minor, the vocal majority says Spurs are almost back to their best. 13% say Spurs are back to their best. 32% say it's only Everton. I'm not hyped. And 12% say some bright spots, but there are some red flags too. And you know what? Whatever you voted, I support you in your endeavors and your pursuit of happiness because that's a God-given right, and I ain't going to try and take that away. Who's being xenophobic? Uh, Archibald, what a stupid comment. Why would people pay a fortune? What? What? What's going on? Yeah, telling people about their standards, bro. You don't know me like that. I'll be so honest. Where's the xenophobia, Scott? I didn't see anyone being xenophobic. Big up, Jacob, and chat just tuned in. Brian Lemur, big up. I'm ending the show very, very soon. Your accents are cracking me up tonight, Jacob. Immaculate vibes as always. Look, I just try to keep things how I want them to be, and that's immaculate, baby. I control what I can control. Was I being xenophobic? Did I say something about you Canadians riding moose? Mooses? Is that the plural? Moose? Mooses? The quad is still on. Jim said so. He did say so. Big up Jim. Big up Kate. Being happy doesn't mean standards are low. There you go. There you go. Put it in the Louvre. Hang it on your wall. Type it on your bed sheets. Put it in your notepad. Write it on the wall. Look like you have schizophrenia. I don't give a fuck. Being happy doesn't mean the standards are low. You can be a happy person and be okay with your club being stupid as fuck. It's okay, Jason Noss. Here's another tune for you. Everything not black and white. So when you say, I know it all. I know the truth. I'm a realist. I'm a Costco guy. I'm just going to say, <laughs> there's also Sam's Club, Kroger, Albertsons, Quick Mart. I mean, hey, shit, you can go anywhere and get some shit. Come on now. <laughs> anyway, big up everybody. I'm out of here. We hating on Canadians? I'm all in. Yeah, you moose eaters. You, you hockey. Hockey? Are you playing hockey? How dare you?